Too bad that the handsome god went to bed angry, though. Himiko's still brainwashed! But I'm not giving up just yet. This is gonna be a breeze. Great, now what are we gonna do? We're back to square one. And why are we back to square one? Good, good question, Kokichi. Because any of us could still be the culprit. Jeez! You flunk out of Targ school or something? Nuh-uh. Not everyone. We can narrow it down to whoever doesn't have an alibi left. Eh? What alibi? I guess I should have known a dumb whore pig like you wouldn't understand. So let me explain. They tit for tat so hard. It's hilarious. Who you calling a dumb pig? If there's this much evidence, then there's no mistake. The body was hidden in the piranha tank. Right. But for someone to plant the body in there with such limited time is pretty tricky. Kokichi does bring up a valid point. There's... O there's only one time the culprit could have set up the scene before the show this morning no wait that, 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 that yesterday during nighttime but that that was still before the show that's why I clicked it my bad my bad my bad chief my bad chief oh, no. that was I'm sorry Shuichi I set you up I set you up with the dumb answer yesterday uh, yesterday before nighttime that's what I meant whoopsie I set you up my bad my bad chief that's on me <laughs> Before <laughs> That's on me. <laughs> ding, ding, ding! The ultimate detective gets it right again. Wait, how do you know it was before nighttime yesterday? Stop asking me dumbass questions. It could have been solved with the process of elimination. Jeez. Fine. I'll explain it to the itty bitty pea brained bitchlet. Damn, Kokichi! <laughs> First, the gym was closed during nighttime, so no one could have entered. Correct. Because if you try to enter the gym at night, it'll go off. You talking about my butthole? Monotaro, why? No, she means the alarm. After nighttime passed, morning came. But hiding the body before the show was... <laughs> Impossible! Himiko and I were waiting in front of the gym before the morning announcement. Which leaves only one possibility. It was done before nighttime yesterday. Yes. Anyone who doesn't get this is just as stupid as the whore bitchlet over there. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Mew is getting freaking slandered by Kokichi right now. So the culprit placed Ryoma's corpse in the piranha tank before nighttime yesterday? Which means he was also killed during that time frame. Yay! Now we know what time the crime happened, right? I still don't really get it, though. Can we narrow down the time of death a bit more? I'm sure we can narrow it down more if we consider the source of the information. The source of the information. Are we talking about this no ah uh, i was wrong the ones where it's like here's all your evidence and pick through are usually like the hardest ones is it the meet and greet the layered evidence no This is where I die. This is it. Oh. If we can find out who last saw Ryomo alive, we can narrow down the time of death. Kirumi, you were asking everyone when they had last seen him, right? Yes. Yes. Gonta was the last person who saw Ryoma. What? Really? And when was the last time Gonta saw Ryoma? Um, when Gonta was inviting everyone to insect meet and greet, so... Gonta think that was maybe 8 p.m.? 
If he was last seen at 8 p.m. and was killed before nighttime officially began, then we can assume the crime took place between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock at night. So all we must do is find someone with no alibi for that time period, yes? Simple enough. After all, most of us were detained by Gonta then. If I recall correctly, the only people that weren't there besides Leona... That would be the four of us. Myself, Kaito, Mew, and also... Maki. Well, Kirumi, you would tell the truth, even if it screwed you over. I do this for everyone. It is my duty to unveil the truth, so I do not care if people suspect me. Ah, beautiful! Your spirit of self-sacrifice is just too beautiful! I will also say this. The crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. And I was at the gym during that time. Huh? But I was only there for about five minutes. <clears throat> Why would you even say that, though? You're tying a noose around your neck, you know. I don't care if it was five seconds. It's way too suspicious that you were alone in the gym. I think the cleaning lady here is the culprit. You killed Ryoma, didn't you? Is too soon to tell. We should hear what everyone has to say, right? I'm with you, Gonta. Fuck that noise! But Mew, you don't have an alibi for when the crime occurred either, do you? You think I'm suspicious? Uh, I don't even know where the gym is! Doesn't telling such obvious lies make you more suspicious, Mew? Thank you, Samugi! The other two without alibis are Kaito and Maki. Let us hear your testimonies. I was in my research lab the whole time. I didn't go to the gym. But that cannot be proven, can it? What about Kaito? Only murderers grow out creepy facial hair like mustaches and goatees. <laughs> Damn. What? My goatee's not creepy. It gives me a glamorous celebrity vibe. Anyway, among those four, the culprit must be the one who doesn't have an alibi. I apologize, but given the circumstances, we have no choice but to suspect you. Suspect who? Who's the culprit? Wait up! Why are you guys suspicious of me? I've been helping the whole time! That's part of why I'm suspicious of you, buddy. It literally, in my suspicions tier list, you're number three. And what's sad is you're like the sad ending for me because I want you to stay alive. And that's why it's staying in Rumpel Logic that you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, wait. I remember now. I do have an alibi. Yeah, you should your tits to Kuichi. Or Kuichi Kokichi, we know this. Or Gata, actually. I am suspicious as the trial progresses. Oh, I know where this is heading. Mass panic. Oh, God. No way I'm the culprit. I should have seen where this was heading. Oh, no. The mass panic debate is going to start. That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, God. I'm getting called out. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Why am I getting called out? Well, you're exactly correct, buddy. Let me give you another tutorial first. Okay, thank God. I was right. Okay. Mass panic debate. Um, this time, we'll... Around, we'll have loud voice dialogue. What? When you have one of your opponent, or it's when one of your opponents uh, shouts their opinion in a loud voice. That blocks out everyone's arguments. Even if you can see a weak spot, you cannot refute it. What? Oh no, what do I do then? You are thinking, right? Luckily, it's just like white noise. Shut him up with a bef uh, the A button on the silencer. After that, you all of the uh, arguments will be audible again. Then, you just shoot the truth bullet at the weak spot. You know the drill. Thank you for understanding. Oh, God. Maki alone is what I'm going to go for first. What is your alibi? Tried hiding Five in the classroom. Minutes. When I was running from I even tried hiding in the girls' bathroom. Things got a little heated if Kenji left, but don't. 
What's Monkey's uh, alibi? Then right be before night time, I got tired and fell asleep. I didn't run did you anyone. really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not time? stay what? at the no, gym? No, in my own room. Jeez. I need to sort out everyone's statements just like Kaede did. I need to calm down and focus one at a time. I I was running away from Gota. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay? Ah! Oh! Oh, 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 okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, it's Karumi that we're refuting, because, or we're refuting uh, Kibo, because Kokichi's account saves that, but Kaido can't keep his damn mouth shut, and so we have to shrink him down. Got it, 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 got it. Okay. That's what we, that's where I needed, I needed to click how the controls work. I got tired and fell asleep. Did you really leave the gym at 9 p.m.? Are you sure you did not stay at the gym? No, in my own room, jeez. I heard it. No, I think Kirumi is telling the truth. Kokichi's story proves it. Right there, when I got to the entrance hall, Kurumi spotted me. Then right after I left Gato's lab, it was right around 9 p.m. She started throwing questions at me left and right, asking me if I was up to no good. She just kept talking, and then we finally let me go at 10 p.m. when nighttime rolled around. A whole hour? Well... Only the first half hour was a lecture, and the other half we played tag. Kokichi met Kirumi at 9 p.m., and they were together until nighttime. Gonta went to the gym to catch Himiko and Angie, five minutes before 9 o'clock. After I left Gonta's lab, I ran into Kirumi. I'm pretty sure Kirumi stayed at the gym five minutes till 9 o'clock. This information could have been told to us beforehand. Sorry, forgot. I definitely didn't keep it a secret to make the trial more interesting. Forgot? It seems far more plausible that you were telling another lie. Unlike robots, we meatbags can't pull out our memories from our hard drive. Was that supposed to offend me? Your irrationality fills me with pity. If I am the culprit, that would mean I killed Ryoma within five minutes. Transported him to the gym, and hit him in the piranha tank. This seems highly unlikely. If you called Ryoma out to the gym and killed him there, we wouldn't need to move him. All you would have to do is hide him in the piranha tank. Gonto was in the midst of heading to the gym to capture Angie. Are you claiming I took advantage of that? And called Ryoma for a rendezvous at the gym? Um, that would be pretty difficult. We should probably look at other possibilities. Maybe someone snuck into the gym while Kirumi and I were busy talking. The only ones capable of that are the other three with no alibis. Mew, Kaito, and Maki! Ah, you're including me too? But there's actually one person we can rule out of the suspects list. Right? There's one person who's totally not suspicious. Say who it is already. It's not you, Buckaroo. There's one person that could uh, be eliminated as from the suspects list, according to Kokichi. They must be talking about the figure he saw that certainly would have an alibi. We need to pin down who that was. The key to this fact uh, lies in Kokichi, Gonta, and Mew's statements. According to what we know, that figure Kokichi saw must be Mew. That's it. Kokichi, you're talking about Mew, right? What? Mew? Yeah, you can take her off the list. She actually has an alibi. Booyah! Suck it, nerds! Wait a sec. Since when does she have an alibi? You'll find out, bud. If you compare everyone's statements, there's no other possibility. 
Oh, yeah. I did see something odd a little while Kirimi was lecturing me. Something odd. I saw a half-naked girl wandering around the courtyard in her underwear. It was too dark for me to make out who it was, but I saw her walk around for a bit. A girl walking around half-naked? Who else could it be but the horny exhibitionist Mew? We can't just jump to conclusions like that. He just saw a shadow, right? That could have been anyone walking around in women's underwear. Even me. Yeah, you would totally do that, bud. That'd be a whole different issue. Thank Dude, Samugi is just on point right now. Thank you. No, it's Mew. Without a doubt. Mew and Gonta's statements prove it. Oh, Gonta see Mew, but Gonta's face get red hot, so Gonta could no bring her. How oh, your face got red hot? You mean you were hot on her trail, right? No, um, she used her, uh, what she call it? Secret woman weapon, and then... Um, uh, uh well... I, uh, I had to use my secret woman weapon and let her... Let's just leave it at that. Yeah, you're right, Mew. Sounds like Gonta got an eye <laughs> Good one, Angie. What? Why the heck were you in your underwear, Mew? Oh, well, because, you know, I'm pretty stacked, so... <laughs> I figured I'd take my clothes off, so Gonta would be too flustered to touch me. <laughs> That's my story, and I'm sticking to it, you cockroaches. <laughs> the blood rushed to both of Gonta's heads because he got super embarrassed. <laughs> oh, he probably did. Mew was in her underwear, and Gonta got weird feeling. So Gonta ran away. Yep. <laughs> well, when he got the body of a goddess, it's only natural to want to flaunt it. <laughs> I show my panties to the boys all the time. Mew! And I mean all the time. So you're welcome, Gonta. Think of me during your next hug session. Most of that was unintelligible nonsense, but it would seem that Mew has an actual alibi. Yeah, it took a while, but at least we got everyone's alibis cleared up. We should remember all of this in case we need to recall these events again. Alibis for yesterday has been recorded into the monopad. That leaves Kaito <clears throat> and Maki as the only ones with no alibis. Then one of them must be the culprit. But which one, I wonder? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch the culprit by it. Hold up! Don't decide just yet! Two prime suspects, Kaito and Maki. But something inside me does not want to accuse Kaido. I want to believe Kaido. He's until he's proven guilty, I will trust him. Uh, maybe we should determine the sequence of events. The culprit w No, we should do something more fun. And I have the perfect idea. What? We narrowed it down to two people, and one of those two is the culprit, right? Unless there's a surprise third, which Danganronpa does like to throw at you. Since we don't have to randomly accuse each other, finding the truth just got much easier. So let's find the truth with a more effective method. And what is this effective method? If one of them is the culprit, then the innocent one should know who the guilty one is. Yeah? Because if you know you're not the culprit, then you can just accuse the other person. Yes, that is true. Which means there is one person among us who definitely knows who the culprit is. To that someone who knows, do your best to convince us. Work harder. Work harder? Have the two argue for their innocence. That's how we'll decide our culprit. What? Even if we did that, wouldn't they just pass the blame back and forth? I, I, yeah? And... Someone must slip up. 
You guys talk about cooperation and teamwork, but you're all afraid. You're too scared to point your fingers at others, so you hide behind the word trust. How do you expect to find the culprit when you're all worried about each other's feelings? If you're planning to expose a liar, then you have to corner them psychologically. Okay. Only then will they reveal their true self as a liar, hiding beneath a layer of deceit. If we want to find the liar, I suggest that the two suspects argue against each other. No more pointless deductions. All we need is for them to fight for their lives. So let's host an argument that's totally not boring but super fun. We'll catch the culprit in their lies when we find a contradiction. Ooh. The culprit until they screw up. That's how a true class trial works. Right, Monokuma? <laughs> a development like that would liven things up a bit. Yep, I totes agree. You're agreeing with Monokuma? Just whose side are you on? I'm on your side. I don't want to die either, you know. That's why we need to take this seriously. Hot <laughs> debate to smoke out the liar. You're actually, like, on it as well, Kokichi. And how do you expect us to start this? If you guys need some help getting started, I can give out the first topic. Our first topic is this. Oh, uh, the motive videos. The Cubs pad. Not just any Cubs pad, but the one given to our latest victim, Ryoma. Oh. When we started investigating, I went straight to his room to borrow it. Ooh. Oh, Kokichi, you. So it wasn't the culprit who took the video from his room. It was you. And the reason why I brought it out just for this occasion is... Because one of these two had Ryoma's Moda video. Dun dun dun. One of these two had it? And for us to figure that out, we need to know who this motive video belongs to. Take a guess, everyone. Whose motive video did Ryoma have? The motive video that Ryoma had, was it Kaido or Maki's? I should know the answer. The motive video Ryoma had was Maki, because we had Kaido. That's it. It was... Maki's motive video, right? Wow, how did you ever guess? Ooh, I know, I know. It's because the motive video that you have belongs to Kaito. Yep. Process of elimination wins again. The obvious answer was Maki, right? Is that true, Shuichi? Yes, you're right. And what about that? Just because Ryoma had my motive video, that doesn't make me the culprit. <laughs> Finally, you said something! This is how a debate should be. I only brought up the motive video to make you talk. Excuse me? Okay, now that we got the party rolling, let's get you and Kaito ready to argue. Remember, if you're not the culprit, then that means the other one is. Got that? Let's start this extreme death debate. Tear up the other's lies. Rip each other apart. Wait just a minute. What are you trying to... Quit screwing around. We don't need to debate who's a culprit. I'm not the culprit. That's for sure. Which means... Kaido, wait. Maybe Kokichi is wrong. Maybe he... Maki isn't a culprit either. Whoa! Really? You're saying neither of you are the culprit? This is the surprise third! I told you dang it up, it does! Then what would be the point of this whole debate? Who cares about that? All I know is that neither me or Maki are the culprit. And how do you know such thing? It's just a hunch I've got. That's uh, not gonna work. A uh, hunch? That's, that's not gonna work, bud. Are you being serious? You do know all our lives are on the line here, right? 
And you're betting our lives on just a hunch? Huh. You don't get it. This isn't just any hunch. This is an official hunch from the Kaito Mamuta, Luminary of the Stars. But what? How illogical. This is even more difficult to comprehend than Kokichi's antics. This <laughs> is fair. You're totally not serious. You can't be that stupid, right? No, he might actually be that stupid. Damn idiot! Kato a damned idiot! Hey, don't call me an idiot! Anyway, me and Maki aren't the culprit. There's no doubt about it. I believe in Maki. You what? You believe in her? But based on what? Yeah. Huh? I don't gotta base it on anything. No matter where the clues point. In the end, the only thing that matters is what I believe, right? Whether I believe or not. Whether I want to believe or not. That's the only thing that matters. So, you do not have any evidence. That's all I'm hearing. I'm hearing gobbledygook. Only baseless conjecture. Yep. But I totally get where he's coming from. Because I want to believe in Himiko, too. She's off the table, but Want to believe, huh? Yeah, I think I understand that. Wanting to believe in someone is a beautiful act, yes. However, it is a sentiment that has no place in a class trial. Keo, you god. I love you. Idiot after all. It's okay to be idiot, as long as you believe in people. <laughs> Guys, I said don't call me an idiot. It really hurts my feelings. <laughs> it's true. That's not what the class trial is about. You're supposed to think logically. You can't let your feelings into it. It's absurdity. Total absurdity. But then again, that absurdity saved me before, right? Why? Why do you trust me, Kaido? There's a chance that I'm the call. I believe in you because I want to. Do I need a reason other than that? What? Isn't that why you believed in Kaede? I mean, sure, I might be get betrayed in the end, but if I worry about that, I won't be able to believe in people that I want to believe in. If I can trust, if I can trust my logic, maybe I should be able to trust Kaido's feelings as well. Yeah, it'll work out at the end. So I'll believe in Maki as well. What? That's our Kaido, right? Making us think with our hearts. You too? How could the ultimate detective believe in someone without proof? But there's no proof linking Maki or Kaido to this crime either. That's that's true. I believe in innocent until proven guilty. For now, they are innocent. Right on, Shuichi. I knew I picked a good sidekick. Uh, and by the way, I might be the ultimate detective, but I'm in training. I told you that, didn't I? I'm just an apprentice. I'm not a real detective. How do you plan to get closer to the truth without suspecting either of them? Unless you have evidence to the contrary, these two will remain suspect. So I just have to turn it around, right? Huh? It's not like I owe that idiot a favor or anything just because he defended me. But that hopeless idiot may have encouraged me a bit. Seriously! Enough's enough! Stop calling me an idiot! What are you trying to say, Maki? I didn't want to say anything, but I can't stay silent forever. So I'll tell you. Oh? Tell us what? I met up with Ryoma during nighttime yesterday. What? You with Ryoma? At nighttime? So Ryoma was still alive at nighttime? I thought the crime took place between 8 and 10 o'clock at night. But that's wrong, because I met up with Ryoma during nighttime. If that's true, then we have no basis for suspecting only Kaito and Maki. Everyone's back on the table again. That's right. Everyone suspected them, because they no have alibis for those times. 
That means me and Maki aren't suspects anymore. You still are, but every, everybody's back on the table. Quit fucking around. You think I'm dumb enough to swallow that line of crap? Yes, this seems too convenient. But why did Maki wait until now to mention that? <laughs> it's totally obvious. Maki's so desperate that she has to lie. Was that a lie? I don't think so. She wouldn't just plain out just give herself away. Did Maki lie to us? No, 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 no. I disagree. It's true. We don't have all the facts. But why would Maki say that now of all times? Exactly, Shuichi. There's no way that she would just give herself away. If I trust her innocence, I should believe in her statement. But should I? Oh my gosh. What a freaking way to end this episode off. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Holy crap, we're going to have a lot. We're back at square one, which is interesting. I'm excited to be back at square one. It's like starting a new episode but with having nothing, like nothing to go off of. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you in the next one.